What's up everybody, James Strickland here. Welcome to week seven on my road to 2100 and my continuation on my road to 700 pounds on bench. This week was a much better week than last week. Um, basically started off uh, with bench this week, felt really good going into the gym, got plenty of rest over the weekend, rest and recovered. Uh, warming up here with 585. Um, I was actually a little bit timid uh, getting under, I mean anytime I'm under five, 500 plus, I'm always very cautious uh, just because it's that much weight. But um, I like to see how 585 feels on my warm-ups, and that gives me a good feel for how my main set's going to go. Uh, today's main set calls for 610 for a double. And these are all paused reps, so uh, I always like to watch my, my warm-up. So literally after I do this, I watch it, and it tells me, basically sets my confidence for the main set. So here we go on this 585. So during the lift itself, it didn't feel as fast as I wanted it to, but uh, my body lies to me sometimes. So uh, I basically uh, look at my camera, watch that same lift, and uh, made me feel very confident that uh, just a few uh, 35 pounds more or so uh, is gonna, gonna look like. Uh, there's no lift off, no spot. Uh, it's not ideal, but this kind of weight I can handle. I've handled upwards of 620 or more uh, with no lift off, but uh, it's definitely very uh, getting time sensitive uh, to to get to the point where I'm actually getting a lift off on everything. Uh, I'm using the squat bar on all squats. I'm using the deadlift bar on all deadlifts uh, because this being five weeks out from the meet, June 2nd at the American Fitness Expo, uh, I want to make sure that I mimic as much of the meat atmosphere and the bars and things like that uh, as possible. So uh, definitely feel uh, going into this lift. Uh, a lot better than last week. Uh, with the, it was the overload uh, with the slingshot and missed that 680. Um, mostly, I think it was due just to a, a missed groove, but it did get in my head, in my head a little bit. Of course, starting off the week with a head cold and sinuses just uh, wasn't uh, ideal conditions either. But uh, very rarely do we get those days where everything is perfect. So you take it, you, you do the best with it, and you move on. Uh, this week, uh, everything except this particular set is basically going to be a PR, uh, so I really want to nail every lift this week. So here we go with the 610 for two. Felt like butter. Even lockout, so I like that. Held it there for a second just to show control. Uh, I'm fairly certain I could have gotten uh, maybe, maybe two more, at least one more. But uh, so moving on here, this is uh, my speed reps, and these are all paused. This is 540 for three sets of two. And so uh, basically working on uh, the, the uh, lower reps now, higher weight, uh, as with any meat prep. Held it there a little longer just to make sure. I felt like that first one, I bounced it just a hair. It wasn't settled, so I want to make sure just to show total control on that second rep. So basically uh, this week uh, calls for 610 for two on my top set with bench. The uh, squat day, which is planned for Wednesday, this bench day being on Monday, uh, squat day is calling for a 675. Got a little out of the groove right there on that speed bench, but all good. Uh, 675 for squat, which is a 15-pound PR, 10-pound PR, and then 675 for a double on deadlift at the end of the week. So excited! I want to make sure I hit all my numbers this week. That would set me in a very perfect position going into the meet. So moving on here, we've got dips, weighted dips with 230 pounds. I'm uh, having some issues today with. Uh, getting a good grip. This is not an ideal setup for dips. It's just a little too narrow for me. Uh, get lightheaded real quick uh, on these also. So I've got a lot of a lot of distractions that can come in. Uh, I had to reset a couple times to get these reps in. But uh, nevertheless, I did get all the reps in. It's uh, two sets of five reps. That's 200 and uh, basically 231 pounds. What it is is it's uh, 
the rogue bar, or it's 225 in plates, and then I've got the rogue pin, the loading pin that they're attached with, and then the chain belt, and all of that's about five, six pounds, so uh, basically 231. So yeah, I had to do one and reset and chalk my hands up and make sure my wrist wraps were pretty tight. I don't want any rolling of the wrist at all on this. Uh, got, a, got somebody to iron the camera there. <laughs> it's hard to set up a camera without people walking in front of it and get a good angle, so it is what it is. But yeah, see, I'm shaking it out just to get a better grip. Strength-wise, though, I felt very, very strong. I think I, uh, at this point I could easily do another plate on there uh, without much trouble at all. So moving on here, I've got uh, line cable flies. This is uh, 110 pounds, two sets of 15. By this point in my workout, my pecs are very much fried. Um, I know it may not look like it on this video here, at least on this set, but uh, these, I wouldn't say they hurt, but they definitely, I was feeling every rep. Very, very tight, lactic acids built up big time. Moving on to the second set here. Got some admirers. It's funny though, when I'm doing some of these sets uh, in my head, it, it looks or it feels like it's going to look a lot more difficult uh, on my face. I'm obviously straining there, but on video, uh, you know, moving fast. So as long as it looks fast, uh, I'm not too concerned how it feels as long as it's not in pain. Uh, I do rely a lot on video feedback in my workouts. Uh, it gives me a boost of confidence, especially if I'm, I think I'm having a bad day. This one is not a bad day, but um, I can look at a video and see that the bar is in fact uh, either confirming that it's moving slow and maybe I need to pay attention to some stuff or get a better get better form um, or not to worry about it it's just my head playing with myself and then you know just um, I need to just uh, push on through and put a better song on or take a sniff of smelling salts or just take a walk outside real quick come back in and finish it up you know, just whatever it takes to get through uh, my bench days here can last upwards of four hours uh, depending on what's going on and most of it, as you can see on the video here, is not the actual work. Um, I think this bench day part is only about uh, 10 minutes worth of actual video footage. Uh, so four hours down to 10 minutes, you can tell a lot of that time is rest and in between sets. So here we're watching the uh, inverted rows. These are um, uh, this body weight, obviously, with uh, 13 reps each and six sets. Uh, these get a nice, a nice stretch in the lats there by this part of the workout, I'm pretty fried. It's uh, just trying to finish the, finish the sets and, uh, and get out of here. I usually will uh, strap up for these just to save grip a little bit. I am pulling 290 pounds towards the bar, so I've got a lot of reps here. So finishing out the day here, it's a tricep rope. I've got 150 pounds on the uh, on the rope here, this pulley is a little bit different than the other gym you might see me at. Uh, this is for 13 reps for the first set, 11 reps for the second, and the last set was for a set of max reps. So this is pretty much a wrap for this day. Um, so I basically take Tuesday off, which is the very next day after this, and uh, get a little bit more to eat, uh, basically up in the calories just a little bit to make up for uh, you know, just not feeling it last week, uh, feel a little bit better, up the vitamins, um, just to make sure uh, staying healthy, uh, not having any kind of nagging pains, which is a good sign. Uh, shoulders not messing with me anymore. It wasn't really messing with me last week, but if anything, it was starting to kind of, kind of get in there. But um, so moving on, I'm up at the Woodland Strength and Conditioning, um, North Houston here, and this is my warm up with squats. Uh, believe it or not, this used to be uh, a max just a few weeks back. Uh, that we've got um, 640, 45 on the bar, and I uh, wanted to just kind of move. I went from uh, 500 to 585 to, to this. And uh, I want to just obviously watch this after I do it, see how the speed is, see how my form is, just make sure I'm moving correctly. Because today we we're calling for a 
max set. I felt a lot slower than it looked, uh, but needless uh, to say, I went ahead and just, um, we actually have a, um, a squat bar here, and I didn't realize that, uh, obviously it's 10 pounds, I don't do enough work on the squat bar to realize that, so this is actually 685 pounds, and figure that out very soon thereafter. Um, so here we go, this is uh, 685. Got a nice stretch reflex there at the bottom and nailed it. So this is uh, technically a 20 pound PR in three weeks. So pretty excited about that. And moving on here, we've got just a, a static hold. And this is a five second hold with 740 pounds. Just holding it, just to fire the CNS off, get, you, get the body used to heavier weight. Some of my issues um, is not that I can't squat the weight or bench the weight or deadlift it. Sometimes I just need to feel the heavier weight just to wake me up. It uh, doesn't mean I'm going to squat it right now, but um, definitely will make 700 feel lighter, um, 780, you know, 685, things like that. Uh, so moving on here, we've got speed squats, and this is 510 for uh, five sets of two. I actually wasn't feeling too hot on these. I think uh, you know the extra 10 pounds that maybe wasn't scheduled for this week, uh, tightened my back a little bit, lower back was just, it was giving me some issues. So I went ahead and did one and racked it, uh, kind of walked around a little bit, tried to get myself rolled out on the PVC pipe just to kind of get some, uh, some, some tightness worked out and went ahead and started on for my doubles here. They're not near as fast as I would like them, uh, considering these were done with like 530 last week, but, um, after doing an extra 10 pounds on that squad I think I may have just you know used used a little too much energy that I thought I you know obviously would have had if I did 675 so um, I'll take this and uh, chalk it up as a win and actually about a month ago my PR was 655 and then about two weeks later it was 665 and now here we are at 685 so I'm actually pretty excited way ahead of schedule uh, 705 at the meet should be Pretty much there. I don't want to say a walk in the park, but uh, it would be nice if I didn't have to put 100% into it. Save a little bit for bench. Uh, that's one concern that I would want to address and make sure that fatigue management is something uh, that not only I manage now, but going forward and at the meet itself, I want to make sure that I don't max out on the squat because my main concern is getting a 700-pound bench. Uh, so I don't want to, um, you know go too far and stretch too far on that uh, on that squat all right so the next one is uh, Olympic squats these are just a closer uh, foot foot position and these are all paused this is 445 uh, two sets of three these were very uncomfortable uh, and actually another issue I had was uh, I got a massage uh, the day before this uh, just to kind of loosen up everything from bench day I was a little tight in the shoulders and they got a little happy with the shoulders and upper body, which wasn't too bad, except for I didn't realize that it would be very tender the next day. Uh, so that squat bar is really digging into some, some sore muscles there. Uh, and they actually kind of moved on down to my legs and hit my hamstrings a little too hard. I told them not to, uh, but it doesn't take much to fire those off and they hit the calves a little bit. So my hamstrings are actually uh, on fire uh, during these squats. It didn't bother me too much on the main set, but very very tight and sore um, on these so this was just a I would say a struggle to get through <laughs> but uh, moving on here these are over uh, overhand deadlift holds these are 15 seconds each makes it a little bit tougher when I use a squat bar because it's a little bit wider obviously heavier so uh, this is uh, two sets of um, one rep basically so 15 second holds two times and this really does help build up uh, the grip strength, not with just the fingers, but the forearms and everything. Uh, I actually get cramps um, after this because of the, uh, the holds. But these have really helped uh, help the grip strength. So um, I've actually got hip abductions on here, but this gym doesn't have them, so I'm going to do them on another day. And next set is calling for GHRs uh, with body weight at plus uh, five pounds of chains. And as you can see, um, can't really see my face there, but my hamstrings are just absolutely lit right now. And so I figured what I'd do is I'd just get through what I could and um, see what I could do. But 
I ended up calling it um, after just a few reps and figuring what I would do is just uh, hit them later in the week uh, because the hamstrings just were not having it. Uh, these are very hamstring dominant uh, exercise and uh, it'd be basically like going into a bench day with uh, sore pecs. Uh, so I went ahead and just after this I think I just called it and uh, figured it would be better uh, to do them a little bit fresher uh, and as long as I got the work in. So I wasn't too worried about skipping this, skipping out on this uh, extra two extra two sets here. I think I got five reps on that, called for six, and I was supposed to do two more sets of six reps. So I missed out on about, uh, I guess, 13 reps. So moving on here, day three. This is the very next day on a Thursday. So we got my front raises here, front raise, um, the lateral raise, and the bent over flies. And this is 25-pound dumbbells, um, eight reps on each um, exercise here in two sets. Shoulders feeling very, very good, feeling very, very strong this day. Um, obviously, I can go a lot heavier than this, but this is more of a maintenance, um, not, a sh not a strength building exercise. Uh, it can be, but in this time of the, uh, the meat prep, uh, my shoulders are extremely strong. Uh, they're able to hold whatever kind of weight I want to put on them. Uh, they'll do their job uh, as if I had to do the meet right now. So at this point, we're not looking to do any kind of crazy overhead presses. Um, I can obviously overhead press well into the 400s uh, with, with ease. Um, I've just got really, really strong shoulders from background in swimming and obviously bench and things like that. But um, at this point in training, it's not about going into the gym every day and putting 110% of whatever weight I did last time and just going up in weight all the time. It's very strategic. Everything has got a purpose. Uh, even this, even though this looks very light and it is, um, you know, this is um, the, uh, the, the delt fly, cable flies, and this is just 30 pounds, uh, three sets of 15. But uh, it does work that delt just enough to where it does benefit from it, but it doesn't uh, affect me like on deadlift day, in which I've had issues in the past where I'll work heavy, heavy delts, and actually uh, the bar gets out a little bit in front of me on deadlift, uh, it, will, it will pull that delt and actually cause an injury. So uh, everything does have a purpose. Um, you know, if I was just in it for, you know, the likes and the Instagram fame and the YouTube video you know, views, uh, I could slap on, you know, four, 400 plus on overhead press and sit there and do reps with it but it would not carry over into my bench or to my squat success or my deadlift success, which is my main 100% goal right now. Uh, maybe on, you know, after the meet, I may do a couple of weeks where I'm just kind of showing off and just, you know, seeing what I have. Uh, we may see some numbers go up just for the sake of it, but uh, this is all about specificity. Every single exercise, every single set and rep has a role in building a 2100 plus total for this meet coming up. Uh, anything outside of that is just playing around at this point. So we've got um, one more set here. And this is actually so easy that it's, it's hard to, to focus on the set because it's just, uh, it's very, very light. Um, but like I said, it, it's, if anything, it can be used as a stretch. Uh, I treat it the same way I do like the stretch cords when I'm warming up. Moving on, we've got close grip push-ups. This is uh, six sets of 26 reps, so we're just going up a little bit. These felt extremely strong. Uh, push-ups are normally not my uh, my weak point, but uh, after a long week, uh, these can start kind of building up. Lactic acid just builds up, and uh, I've had a couple couple times where I had to stop and break them up and just kind of move things. But this whole this whole set. Uh, each one, each set of 26 went very, very fast, very easy. Um, sped these up so you're not having to watch the mundaneness of push-ups. But uh, each one of these felt very, very good. In fact, I uh, 
think on one of these sets at the very end, I kind of started playing around a little bit with just one-legged push-ups, just being funny. <laughs> Nothing too extreme, not not worth injury of doing any kind of weird clap push-ups or you know handstand type junk, but. Uh, Figured I'd mess with the pretty lady sitting next to me. By the way, that's my wife. And if you guys want to see some funny stuff, go on to Instagram and follow her. Her name is Miss Swim Hack. So M R S period Swim Hack. So it's just like mine, but with Miss in front of it. Uh, Miss dot Swim Hack. She posts a lot of funny, uh, like uh, Sunday selfies with swim hack and just some funny stuff. She catches me in uh, embarrassing moments. So if you guys want to have some fun, head on over there and follow her. Of course, you can always follow me, uh, swim hack. Same as my Insta or my YouTube username. So using my favorite new wide grip bar here with my seated rows. This is um, 210 pounds, three sets of 15. You give me a little bit. Um, a little bit better range of motion uh, and also just a little bit wider uh, muscle group that I can kind of work. The, seat, the narrow grip uh, really kind of limits me a little bit. Uh, it hit, hit uh, the back pretty good, but these I just feel like these translate better to uh, the rows that I need to be doing for my bench. So that's going to be pretty much a wrap for day three. Um, the plan this week, I've got some scheduling conflicts. Uh, so I'm going to be actually, oh, I'm sorry, we got one more. We got the uh, hip abductions. These are actually made a makeup exercise. This is 250 pounds, the whole stack here, uh, for two sets of 20. This was actually supposed to be done on day two for squats. Uh, didn't have that machine, so it's a pretty pretty easy exercise. It just really just opens the hips up a little bit. Uh, so it's not a huge strength building exercise for me. Um, just helps to, to open everything up, get a little bit of mobility in there. But uh, so the plan this week was to, to do my deadlifts on Friday and uh, that some stuff came up and that wasn't going to be the case and ended up uh, wanting to do it on Saturday. And at the very last minute, got an opportunity to work out uh, on Friday. And so I ended up taking that. This is actually at Iron City Gym in Houston. Uh, heard some good things about it um, and went up there and kind of was on the spare. The, literally with an hour notice, I was having to get my mind right. Uh, I was expecting to do it the very next day. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is, but uh, started off here with the pause squats and the safety bar. Uh, this is 365 pounds for just five reps, each one paused. Um, felt a little bit off. I'm not sure if it was just the platform or if it was the bar or if it was just me. Uh, I did find out uh, pretty quick that my hips and my hamstrings are still pretty uh, taxed out from my squats on Tuesday. Uh, so this is you know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You'd think you'd have enough time to recover, but um, you know when you think about kind of weight that we're moving, uh, maybe not so much. So moving on here, these are about 46 inches. I just found a couple tires stacked them together. These are the box jumps just to work on explosion. These really help the fast twitch muscle fibers to fire off. This really helps with coming out of the hole on a squat, uh, which I've noticed a huge difference while doing these. Uh, my uh, my speed out of the hole has definitely gotten a lot faster. So these have a direct carryover to that portion of the squat. Uh, I've always been a very, very good jumper. Um, you know, trying out for NFL back in 2010, uh, I got about a 30, I had 38 and a half inch uh, vertical, standing vertical. So I do have ups, uh, but it's nice to see those translate uh, into the bottom of the squat. So here is my last warm up. This is 585 for deadlifts. Top set today is calling for 675. That got a little bit out in front of me. I wasn't real happy with the speed of that either. Uh, but moving on anyways, this calls for two set, uh, two reps. And that was a little, little slower than I'd like. Um, dropping the bar here to reset. My grip is messing with me a little bit. Uh, not on the first rep, but anytime I have to kind of regroup and uh, reset. Uh, obviously it's good for singling out the reps, but uh, as soon as I let go of that bar, um, it, it, the grip goes all to, to hell. So I got this one about right here and 
I realized that I was over the bar way, way too high. Um, so I think it was just a smarter move to drop that. I'm uh, pretty sure the strength was there, um, but wasn't gonna wasn't gonna risk it. My hamstrings were already kind of out of the mix there. Got um, deadlifts here. This is uh, 505, and this is uh, three sets of three. These moved pretty well. Um, my back is, is pretty fried. Uh, I think just holding it in, in that, uh, that 670, the second rep of 675 uh, at the knees for a second just kind of burned everything out. But um, you know, I would obviously want to have a perfect week. Uh, I really wanted to go ahead and hit um, the 675 for two, as well as the 685 on squat, as well as 610 for two on deadlift. But one missed rep. Uh, it does not equal a failure. Um, you know, in a perfect world, that would have been that would have been amazing. But I actually uh, am not too worried about that at all, uh, considering I know I hit 710 just a, a couple weeks back. Uh, so missing a second rep of 675, um, which is what it was called for, uh, could have been for a lot of reasons. Um, no excuses. It just wasn't there. Could have been new gym. Could have been spare the moment uh, workout. I mean, could have been a lot of things. Uh, but who cares at this point? Uh, it's not meat day, so it really, really didn't matter too much. Uh, made up for it for really getting a good pull-through set here, and this really works the hamstrings. Uh, basically went to like 135, uh, 150, and then 185 on these. And actually, the last set was like 200. Uh, really working on getting a good stretch back between the legs and firing off uh, into the hamstrings, and then really humping forward uh, helps uh, with the end of the deadlift once you get into the lockout position. So moving on here, these are bent over rows. This is uh, 360 pounds, three sets of five reps. Uh, similar to the inverted rows, uh, if I don't need to work on grip, I will strap up just to save myself uh, from the bar slip. Last thing I want to do is be in the middle of a row and uh, have my lats engaged and have one hand slip. Uh, it would not be a good situation. Moving on here, Cabra, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Cobra lat pull downs, and this is uh, 120 pounds, three sets of 13. Uh, probably could have gone a little heavier on this. Uh, this particular setup felt a little bit easier than last week, uh, considerably easier. Um, but being a, a kind of a different bench and everything, I didn't want to push it too much. Uh, getting a nice stretch up top, um, better than normal. I've been actually trying to work on that, getting a really good stretch at the top and firing down as quickly as possible down to the side. Uh, these isolate each one of those lats uh, versus doing like a standard lat pull down. Uh, so you can really work on um, if one side is a little bit weaker than the other, you can do an extra, extra couple reps or just do it a little bit heavier or uh, really just maybe slower, just working on that muscle uh, mind connection a little bit more. Uh, there's a lot of different variants you can do with this exercise to work on weaknesses. So, uh, moving on here last set but uh, so back to you know overall the uh, the week is uh, is successful um, we have a deload week next week coming up so I wanted to hit this week hard and heavy uh, put everything on the line and, uh, and see where where I come out uh, I feel like I am way in front of where I need to be uh, squats actually was the one thing that I was a little bit more worried about than anything else uh, beginning of this training cycle and those have far exceeded my expectations uh, I really didn't expect to be hitting upper 680s uh, until a little bit closer to the meet being uh, five weeks out uh, I'm ecstatic that I'm within 20 pounds of my goal weight for the meet so now uh, I think we can really focus on getting the deadlift form down working on getting that one rep uh, we'll be singling out things which for me singles have always been easier than multiple reps. Uh, even when I was a 600 pound bencher, I was only repping 550 for two. When technically, if you look at some of the rep calculators out there, you should be upwards of you know 580 for two for 600 bench, which uh, I didn't hit that until I was well over 600. So I don't trust the rep calculators. I use them solely as just a guideline, a very rough uh, guideline uh, for anything that I do. Uh, 675 for two on the rep calculator actually calculates to like 711 bench, or I'm sorry, 711 um, deadlift. Well, I hit 710 two weeks ago, so uh, I'm pretty sure that I'm fine uh, with that being said. 
Uh, with a deload in front of us, we'll probably hit 720 to 730 uh, in the next couple of weeks, and then on to 740 even before the meet, uh, which leaves plenty of time for rest and recovery to hit 755 at the meet. So uh, my main focus at this point is going to be on bench and getting those numbers solid. Uh, don't have any problems with it right now, don't expect any, but uh, I always like to look ahead and plan ahead several weeks just in case uh, something were to happen and get behind. I'm not behind, uh, I'm actually ahead. So this is a little bit better set with these seated one and one fourth hammer curls than last week. I was very, very taxed. My elbows were bothering me a little bit. Uh, so I, I put on the sleeves just for a little bit extra comfort and, and warmth on the joints here just to keep everything uh, comfortable. And this is uh, three sets of six. Felt very, very strong uh, on these. So I think uh, these are definitely getting better. This is just more of a, a bicep exercise, working on just hitting those biceps. Um, Triceps are obviously being hit with bench and with tricep rope. This is just equaling everything out. But uh, fairly nice gym here, uh, Iron City. I've actually never been here, never or even heard of it really until recently. Um, I know a lot of uh, a lot of bodybuilders have seen this gym and know about this gym. I must just be kind of under a rock. So uh, it's nice to have an option uh, if I need it. Uh, obviously, my my main focuses are are going to be uh, you know going to get into woodland strength uh, that's my my sponsor gym so moving on here these are the static holds with 10 pound plates i've got um, let's see two sets of one on each hands and uh, on this is pinky and ring finger holds and so i'm basically counting to 20 seconds uh, on each finger sped this up so you guys don't have to sit there and watch uh, the mundaneness of it but this is right at the end of the workout so uh, this is a good time to to do these and uh just work on getting those those fingers that are notorious for slipping on anybody is going to be your your typically your weakest link is your pinkies and your ring fingers um, don't have an issue right now but don't want one uh, so i work on this proactively and uh, put a little bit of chalk on just to keep it from slipping from the sweat and things like that but uh, i try not to use the ledge on the plate as much as possible i think that gives a little bit of an advantage and so uh got landmines here just working on some core and this is uh, 55 pounds three sets of six but overall extremely ecstatic uh, had a great week not uh, not disappointed at all um, obviously want a perfect week want to you know everybody wants to bat a thousand but uh, it doesn't always happen that way, and if it does, I want it to be on meet day, not in a workout. Uh, if I have a choice to one or the other, um, I'd rather rather do it uh, when it counts. And so, uh, got a little extra here for you guys. This is uh, some uh, one-arm rows. You very rarely touch the 200-pound dumbbells, mostly just because they're awkward. But I uh, got uh, two, uh, one, uh, one set of eight each uh, arm. Uh, this is just working on some extra row work. Um, these are surprisingly not as heavy as I thought they were going to be. The only other time I've handled these, uh, I've never handled them on bench. I would love to. I just uh, haven't had an opportunity. The animal cage this year, I thought I was going to have an opportunity. I was just pretty much fried out by the time I was done with those 600 for reps. But um, I did have an opportunity to, to put one of these up. <laughs> and uh, the scariest part is putting them up and uh, not wanting to smash your finger because there's absolutely no way you're going to get your finger out of there uh, without it being broken. So uh, definitely be careful with these. And as you can see, these are on the very end of the rack and I've been told that nobody ever touches these. So I guess uh, it's because they weigh 200 pounds. But um, anyways, um, this is pretty much a wrap for this week. Uh, next week is going to be a deload, so not too exciting, but I will basically film everything and do a voiceover, let you guys know how I'm feeling. But I uh, appreciate every single one of you guys tuning in. Please like and subscribe. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at SwimHack. See ya.